Welcome back, my dear students. In last class, we studied about only the meaning of principal stresses, principal planes, and shear stresses, maximum and minimum shear stresses, and their planes. Now, in this class, we need to mathematically prove it. Right? Huh? Just we will go back and. Uh, Now see, we know we have one plane, one point in two dimension. This has sigma x in the x direction, this has sigma y in y direction and it has tau in x y direction, tau in x y direction that we will call tau x. Now, on particular interested plane sigma theta we know sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta plus 2 x y sin 2 theta right now next on particular plane on that plane only shear stress will be sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta minus 2 x y cos 2 theta. In last class I told you that to know the principal stresses and principal planes, here the variable is what? Sigma x, sigma y and 2 x y we need to keep constant and theta will be varying. To know the maximum value of sigma x when theta is varying means it is looking like a, I want y value when the function is f of x. I want the maximum y value, maximum sigma theta value when x is varying. Then what I have to do? Then dy by dx equal to 0. Then I will solve this equation, get a condition for x, get the condition for x. This x you substitute in the given equation, you will get the maximum value of y. This is mathematics. The same way I need to do here to get the maximum principal stress to maximum stress, normal stress, then I have to differentiate this in entire equation with respect to theta and equate to 0, then get the value for theta and that theta substitute back in this equation, you will get sigma 1 and sigma 2 value. The same procedure I need to repeat it for this also. Differentiate with respect to theta and equate to 0, get the condition for theta, that theta substitute back in this equation, you will get the answer. Okay, now that we are going to do it. We can put the headings. I am going to state it that derive an expression for principal stresses and their orientation that is your principal planes. Also, derive an expression for maximum and minimum shear stress and their orientations. Also, define what is principal stress, what are principal planes what is maximum and minimum shear stress and what are maximum minimum shear planes. These things I need to do it in this class. Right? As you already know, we have an equation sigma theta equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta plus 2xy sin 2 theta. Right? This is the equation. Now what I need to do to get the maximum sigma value? Differentiate with respect to theta this sigma theta. Then what you are going to get? See, these are constant I said. Constant differentiation becomes 0 and this differentiation becomes what? Sigma x minus sigma y by 2 minus sin 2 theta cos is there therefore minus sin 2 theta into 2 plus then here what I get here I will get a 2 x y as it is sin 2, 2 theta differentiation is cos 2 theta into 2 then what I have to do this differentiation that I need to make it to 0 equal to 0 then this minus sign it is there that I will send that side therefore sigma x 
minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta equal to 2xy cos 2 theta or you can do it like that also keep it this one here only this one send that side it becomes minus 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 cancels and into 2 is also there here into 2 is also there here these two will get cancelled these two will get cancelled then this is sin 2 theta and this is cos 2 theta this cos 2 theta bring this side then sin 2 theta by cos 2 theta becomes tan 2 theta then this is already it is there then divided by this entire equation I will bring it down sigma x minus sigma y by 2 this I got this is what it is condition this is a condition to have to have to have maximum normal stress maximum normal stress maximum or minimum because this condition equating to 0 gives maximum or minimum minimum normal stresses normal stresses okay now but here if you observe very interest uh, keenly if you observe here you are getting condition in terms of theta this theta I can call it as the principal plane why because by considering this condition you are going to get the maximum and minimum normal stresses meaning principal stresses they are called as principal stresses then to have this principal stresses you are getting this condition means this theta obviously represents principal plane now you got that principal plane equation principal plane but which principal plane first I will consider major principal plane major principal plane equation tan 2 theta that I will name it as a p1 as 2 that below 2 this 2 will come to the top therefore 2 to xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y this is principal plane major principal plane then what about minor principal plane minor principal plane that I already told you the principal planes are perpendicular to each other if theta p1 is this much then theta p2 will be theta p1 plus 90 degree because the difference should be 180 degree over oh, this is a minor principal plane and this is the major principal plane you got it now the task is very interesting this minor principal this you consider major only this major principal plane or this condition this condition I need to take and substitute back into this equation in this equation I need to substitute okay but here look at here theta is something inside huh? how to get this theta outside then this become tan inverse of something something it becomes very difficult therefore I will use one technique here okay I know that tan 2 theta tan 2 theta equal to 2 xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y by 2 this I know okay this I can call it as opposite by adjacent right because tan theta formula is opposite by adjacent then I will wisely I will have one triangle here on this triangle I can have this as a 2 theta because here theta is in terms of 2 theta that I will write as a 2 theta then if it is a 2 theta then opposite is what opposite is 2 xy then adjacent is what adjacent is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 this is adjacent then by using a Pythagoras I can get the hypotenuse hypotenuse will be hypotenuse will be then sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2 xy square this is a hypotenuse understood now by knowing this you can define sin 2 theta for this diagram you can define sin 2 theta sin 2 theta formula is what opposite by hypotenuse opposite is 2 xy by hypotenuse is what this big square you write it your own I don't waste time writing this one just I will put it like this this you understand that whenever I put a big square root means whatever that is there inside a square root that I am writing here ok copy paste this is copy paste sin 2 theta you got it 
like that you can write a cos 2 theta cos 2 to the formula is adjacent divided by hypotenuse adjacent is what adjacent is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 divided by hypotenuse is what hypotenuse is big square root copy paste right up this you got means now just look at this equation this equation look at sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta this cos 2 theta means i can substitute this cos 2 theta value the same way this 2xy sin 2 theta means this sin 2 theta value i can substitute then what i'll get look at here sigma 1 equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta cos 2 theta means this much that is your sigma x minus sigma y by 2 divided by big bracket big square root that is copy paste plus 2xy then sin 2 theta sin 2 theta means what sin 2 theta means again 2xy divided by big square root copy paste right then if i simplify this this i will keep it as is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus then lcm is same now here what is the lcm big square root copy paste then what is left at the top these two are same therefore square sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus these two are same therefore 2 x y square right up this you got now look at here if this is a x uh, then uh, you can have a relation like a x by root x is nothing but root x right because this if it comes here then root x root x becomes x therefore x by root x i can write it as root x the same thing see here whatever that is there here whatever that is there here inside the root and in the numerator both look like same therefore therefore i can have sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus big square root whatever that is there copy paste that i will write it now sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2xy square this is your sigma 1 value this is your sigma 1 value the same way similarly you can write it similarly sigma 2 value will be sigma x plus sigma y by 2 as it is this plus becomes minus minus square root of the entire thing sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2xy square means collectively i can say that principal stresses principal stresses stresses that is sigma 1 sigma 2 equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus or minus means plus i will use when i want sigma 1 minus i will use when i want sigma 2 that into square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2xy square okay this is calculated on tan 2 theta p1 on theta p1 plane by using this one okay on this plane what is shear stress on this plane what is shear stress then if you understand the last lecture then you will answer this question what is shear stress on this plane that is zero that you will answer it but mathematically i need to prove it that i know that tau theta is equal to sigma x plus so, sorry sigma x minus sigma y by 2 then sin 2 theta plus sorry minus 2 x y cos 2 theta this i know then i go back to this equation the triangle sin 2 theta means this much cos 2 theta i know this if i substitute them here in their place sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta means what 2 x y divided by big square root copy paste minus 2 x y as it is cos 2 theta means what sigma x minus sigma y by 2 square root of big big square root and the copy paste then this one look at here sorry this is by 2 this con term you look at and this term you look at then you will come to know that both are same and in between minus sign is there therefore they will cancel and answer will be zero see in last class just i told the theory that is a what is the shear stress on this plane 
that is was a zero even i mathematically proved it okay na means on the plane conclusion conclusion is on the plane that is a principal plane principal plane what is that principal plane means that is theta p1 what is the equation for that that is a tan 2 theta p1 plus sorry equal to 2 to x y divided by sigma x minus sigma y on this plane what is the normal stress sigma 1 sigma 1 equation is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus 2x square whole square and the square root this is to 1 sigma 1 then on theta p2 theta p2 what is the theta p2 that is theta p1 plus 90 degree on this one what is sigma sigma value that is sigma 2 value then sigma 2 equation will be just minus here then on this plane again on theta p1 only what is the shear what is the shear that is a to theta or no to oh, to theta that is your zero then to zero this to you got okay now this i did for principal stresses only now i need to work out for shear stresses now the shear stress equation is to theta is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos sorry sin 2 theta sin 2 theta minus 2 xy cos 2 theta okay now the same that uh, differentiate and equate to zero so that you will get a maximum value for sigma theta uh, sorry to theta that is your um, sigma uh, d by d theta of to theta that equal to zero you need to do then differentiation of this one is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin theta to to theta differentiation is cos 2 theta into 2 Minus 2x y as it is because constant, and cos 2 theta differentiation is sin 2 theta into 2. Cos 2 theta differentiation is minus sin 2 theta. Therefore, this become plus and equal to zero. Okay, why? Because I want maximum condition. Therefore, equal to zero. Then here, if I send one thing, th this I will retain here, and this one I will send that side. That is 2x y, 2x y, sin 2 theta. Retain this side. send that that side that is your uh, c cos 2 theta sorry sigma x minus sigma y by 2 here into 2 is there by 2 into cos 2 theta into 2 this into 2 into 2 cancels then sin 2 theta is there this cos 2 theta you bring this side there is a minus here then tan 2 theta this time it is tan This time it is tan two theta s yes, one. Okay, that is equal to then sigma x minus sigma x minus sigma y by two whole divided by two x y. Okay, then I will give you a homework or you can refer my notes. That what you need to do, you need to take a triangle here and you call this as a two. You can call this as a two theta s yes, one. Then you write opposite because this is opposite. And you write adjacent. You write Pythagoras using this one. You write here a big square root. And after that, the same thing follow it for this equation. Here sine two theta. Here first you define what is sine two theta based on this triangle. Define cos two theta based on this triangle. Whatever the values you get sine theta, sine two theta, cos two theta, that you substitute here and here. Okay. Then you will get a value two. That two will be maximum or minimum value. That I will write two one and two two will be equal to plus r minus square root of sigma x minus sigma y by two whole square plus two x y square. This you are going to get. Okay now this is all about and orientation. That is your sigma uh, theta uh, yes one you got means theta yes two will be equal to theta yes one plus nine over. Thank you very much.